They had to crash land and the captain told them, you know, to empty the airplane. And for three days they were sort of interrogated and talked and everything. And then they changed their tune and were pretty good, fed them a good meal. But then they put them on a train and sent them to Siberia. And uh, I've been thinking a lot about that with the Olympics going on because uh, it was more down in that cold country where he was. And so he told about a lot of experiences in the, because there was a lot of other pilots and the men from every service there. And uh, as they called it, internment. They were interned. Um, they were there nine months and then they started out and there was a reporter and in those days I should remember because everyone, I don't know if it was Carlton Bourne or what, but uh, he was one of the important ones in World War II that would speak every night about what was going on and he made, the, the train stopped and everybody wondered why and finally someone came and said there's a reporter in America who was saying that there's a train leaving uh, Vada, I can't think of the name, Vada Vasco, and uh, it's got all the well, service men that have been being held, and they turned the train around and went back for three months.